Hello friends and welcome back to another video. I am Freggy from Fleshcraft Studio and today we are sculpting the Invoked Abyss. I apologize for the delay on this video but I have so many projects in the air at the moment and I cannot wait to show you. But more on that later. Today I'm just showing you my process of making the Invoked Abyssal, this guy. And unfortunately, because I'm still getting used to recording myself, um, I forgot to record the, the end process of the video. So you're only going to see the sculpting this time and not the posing of the model. So it's going to be a little bit shorter video, but I will slow the progress so it, it's not as fast as you're used to, so you are able to see a little bit more. Also, I redecorated my room, so now I have all of my models in the background uh, in my office, so now I can finally look at my models while I sculpt before they were down in the living room, but we just felt like redecorating our apartment a little bit. So now I have all my stuff up here, so you can take a look. All of these models are from Fleshcraft, and all of them are painted by Kitsune and Fox. Kitsune and Fox is an incredibly talented painter that paints all of my models every month and takes some nice pictures. And after that, she sends them to me so I can look at them. Um, but you can check her links in the description below if you want to see her work or maybe if you want to do some commission work. But that's all for now. So um, enjoy the video. This time I actually made some concept art for this creature and you can see it here on the screen. I find it incredibly easy to make some sketches with the symmetry option in Photoshop and it helped me a lot to get started on this one. But I was also really inspired by, um, by a creature from something else and I won't say what it is but if you have an idea of what creature I got the inspiration from, let me know down in the comment section below. After sculpting the body, I went ahead and started on the head, but I wasn't satisfied with how it was turning out compared to my concept, so I tried out something else, which turned out so much better. I wanted a jaw that could stretch all the way down to the chest area. I wanted the jaw to be quite strong, so I gave it um, a sort of underbite. But in these cases, just like uh, Deathwing from World of Warcraft, he has that big metal jaw and it, it gives this uh, incredibly strong look. And as you can see here, I'm starting to make them all the way down. I will later make the mouth continue down into the chest. And then we're adding some fur on its back. I have this incredibly lovely brush from ArtStation that I'm using for the fur and it, it's just so lovely to use 
for stuff like this. And now I'm adding a couple of details, some hair strands and stuff. And now I'm making the mouse for the hand. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's going to have like three jaws that open up, but you'll see. Just like that. And you can see in the end how I posed it. Unfortunately, you aren't going to see the posing of it, but the result is just amazing. And now I'm sculpting a lovely little tongue for each of the maws on the hands. And almost all of the creatures in this bundle have a huge eye somewhere on the body. And this comes from the Neverlight Architect, which will be this season's loyalty reward. He's the guy behind it all, the big evil dude who just wants all light to not exist. And here you can see that I'm expanding the mouth. And now for its tail. And now I'm adding some scaly texture to the body here and there. Doesn't have to be much, just a little bit. I thought the tail end needed something, so I just made this little ribcage, carapace, something. And it's not much, but I thought it added well to the end of the tail. He's going to have two tentacles with some more eyes on his back, next to his wings.
what are eyes without teeth? And I'm getting to the wings. I'm always trying out something new when I make wings. Um, there are so many different ways to start off with them, especially with the membrane stuff. But now I tried out something new with a curve brush. And I didn't want these wings to be a classic type of wing like the dragon. Um, I wanted him to have these kind of bony wings where it was just shadowy stuff extruding from it. So you had this kind of veil of shadow. I actually made this one quite fast. I believe I finished them in about a day or so. And now we're getting to the shadowy stuff on the wings. But yeah, just sculpting some details and stuff. And then I forgot to record the posing. I apologize for that. But I hope you enjoyed. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it despite it being a little bit shorter than usual. So next up is the last part of the Darkbound Covenant. And I am so much looking forward to the next season. It's going to be a huge one and I can't wait to show you more about it. For August, I'm going to make a little break month where I'm going to make some updated models from one of my previous releases and it's going to add to the Gravesworn Legion. I'm going to make a zombie dragon and a couple of other things. And after that, we are starting a huge new season and I'm really looking forward to that. But that's all for now. And until next time, see ya.